Everything is the Light, an interview with Nikola Tesla. Part of this interview is dedicated to Tesla's critics on Einstein's theory of relativity that discards the ether as energy. Journalist, Mr. Tesla, you have gained the glory of the men who got involved in the cosmic process. Who are you, Mr. Tesla? Tesla, it is a right question, Mr. Smith, and I will try to give you the right answer to it. Journalist, some say you are from the country of Croatia, from the area called Laika where together with the people are growing trees, rocks, and starry sky. They say that your home village is named after the mountain flowers and that the house you were born in is next to the forest and the church. Tesla, really, all it true. I'm proud of my Serbian origin and my Croatian homeland. Journalist. Futurists say that the 20 and 21st century was born in the head of Nikola Tesla. They celebrate conversely magnetic field and sing hymns to induction's engine. Their creator was called the hunter who caught the light in his net from the depths of earth and the warrior who captured fire from heaven. Father of alternating current will make the physics and chemistry dominate half of the world. Industry will proclaim him as their supreme saint. A banker for the largest benefactors. In the laboratory of Nikola Tesla for the first time is broken atom. There is created a weapon that causes earthquake vibrations. There are discovered black cosmic rays. Five races will pray for him in the temple of the future. Because they had been taught a great secret that Empedocles elements can be watered with the light forces from the ethers. Tesla. Yes, these are some of the most important discoveries. I am a defeated man. I have not accomplished the greatest thing I could. Journalist. What is that, Mr. Tesla? Tesla, I wanted to illuminate the whole Earth. There is enough electricity to become a second sun. Light would appear around the equator as a ring around Saturn. Mankind is not ready for the great and good. In Colorado Springs, I soak the Earth by electricity. Also, we can water the other energies, such as positive metal energy. They are in the music of Bach or Mozart, or in the verses of great poets. In the Earth's interior, there are energies of great joy, peace, and love. Their expressions are like a flower that grows from the Earth the food we get out of her, and everything that makes man's homeland. I've spent years looking for the way that this energy could influence people. The beauty and scent of roses can be used as medicine, and the sun rays as food. Journalist, what are these things? Tesla, one issue is food. What a stellar and terrestrial energy to feed the hungry on earth. With what wine watered all thirsty, so they can get cheer in their hearts and understand that they are gods. Another thing is to destroy the power of evil and suffering in which man's life passes. They sometimes occur in the epidemic of the depths of space. In this century, the disease had spread from earth to the universe. The third thing is, 
Is there an excess light in the universe? I discovered a star that by astronomical and mathematical laws could disappear and that nothing seems to be modified. This star is in this galaxy. Its light can occur in such a density that it fits into a sphere smaller than an apple and heavier than our solar system. Religions and philosophies teach that man can become the Christ, Buddha and Zoroaster. What I'm trying to prove is wilder and almost unattainable. This is what to do in the universe, so every being is born as Christ, Buddha or Zoroaster. I know that gravity is prone to everything you need to fly, and my intention is not to make flying devices, aircraft or missiles, but to teach individual to regain consciousness of his own wings. Further, I am trying to awake the energy contained in the air. There there are main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space is just a manifestation of matter that is not awakened. No empty space on this planet, nor in this universe. In black holes, what astronomers talk about are the most powerful sources of energy and life. Journalist On the window of your room in Hotel Waldorf, Austria, on the 33rd floor every morning, the birds arrive. Tesla A man must be sentimental towards the birds. This is because of their wings. Human had them once, the real and visible. Journalist, you have not stopped flying since those distant days in Smelgen. Tesla, I wanted to fly from the roof and I fell. Children's calculations could be wrong. Remember, the youth wings have everything in life. Journalist, have you ever married? It is not known that you have affection for love or for a woman. Photos from the youth show that you were a handsome man. Tesla, yes, I did not. There are two views, a lot of affection or not at all. The center serves to rejuvenate the human race. Woman for certain people nurtures and strengthens its vitality and spirit. Being single does the same to other people. I choose that second path. Journalist, your admirers are complaining that you are attacking relativity. The strange is your assertion that the matter has no energy. Everything is imbued with energy. Where is it? Tesla, first was energy, then matter. Journalist, Mr. Tesla, it's like when you said that you were born from your father and not on you. Tesla, exactly. What about the birth of the universe? Matter is created from the original and eternal energy we know now as light. It's shown and there have been a pure star, the planets, man and everything on earth and in the universe. Matter is an expression of infinite forms of light, because energy is older than it. There are four laws of creation. The first is the source of all the baffling, dark plot that the mind cannot conceive or mathematics measure. In that plot fit the whole universe. The second law is spreading a darkness, which is the true nature of light from the inexplicable and it's transformed into the light. The third law is the necessity of the light to become a matter of the light. The fourth law is no beginning and no end. Three previous laws always take place and the creation is eternal. Journalist in the hostility to the theory of relativity, you go so far that you hold lectures against its creator at your birthday parties. Tesla, remember, it not curves space, but the human mind 
which cannot comprehend infinity and eternity. If relativity has been clearly understood by its creator, he would gain immortality, even yet physically, if he is pleased. I am part of a light, and it is the music. The light fills my six senses. I see it, hear it, feel, smell, touch, and think. Thinking of it means my sixth sense. Particles of light are written note. A bolt of lightning can be an entire sonata. A thousand balls of lightning is a concert for this concert. I have created a ball of lightning which can be heard on the icy peaks of the Himalayas. About Pythagoras and mathematics, a scientist may not and must not infringe on these two. Numbers and equations are signs that mark the music of the spheres. If Einstein had heard these sounds, he would not create the theory of relativity. These sounds are the messages to the mind that life has meaning, that the universe exists in perfect harmony, and its beauty, the cause and effect of creation. This music is the eternal cycle of stellar heavens. The smaller star has completed composition and also part of the celestial symphony. The man's heartbeats are part of the symphony on earth. Newton learned that the secrets in the geometric arrangement and motion of celestial bodies. He recognized that the supreme law of harmony exists in the universe. The curved space is chaos. Chaos is not music. Einstein is a messenger of the time of sound and fury. Journalist Mr. Tesla, do you hear that music? Tesla, I hear it all the time. My spiritual ear is as big as the sky we see above us. My natural ear I increased by the radar. According to the theory of relativity, two parallel lines will meet in infinity. By that, Einstein's curve will straighten. Once created, the sound lasts forever. For a man it can vanish, but continues to exist in the silence that is man's greatest power. No, I have nothing against Mr. Einstein. He is a kind person and has done many good things, some of which will become part of the music. I will write to him and try to explain that the ether exists and that particles are not what keep the universe in harmony and that life is eternity. Journalist, tell me please, under what conditions angels adopt on the earth? Tesla, I have ten of them. Keep good records vigilant. Journalist, I will document all your words, dear Mr. Tesla. Tesla, the first requirement is a high awareness of its mission and the work to be done. It must, if only dimly, exist in the early days. Let us not be falsely modest. Oak knows that it is oak tree, a bush beside him being a bush. When I was 12, I had been sure I will get to Niagara Falls. For most of my discoveries I knew in my childhood that I would achieve them. 
although not entirely apparent. The second condition to adapt is determination. All that I might, I finished. Journalist. What is the third condition of adjustment, Mr. Tesla? Guidance for all the vital and spiritual energies in labor. Therefore, purification of the many effects and needs that man has. I therefore have not lost anything, but just gained. So I enjoyed every day and night. Write down Nikola Tesla was a very happy man.